Se mi o wi fun yin. Eyin to je pe jo lo selu te ma bara yin ja. Politics is a game. Te ma ma bu tinunbu, fatiku te ma ba ba tiku fun tinunbu. Te ma ma bu tinunbu fun Peter Obi te ma ba ba Peter Obi. Ni ojo wo me e ko ni Peter Obi lo si Anambra. Ni bi ti soludo tin celebrate. Won ma celebrate ara won. Won ma jo ndi mo ara won. You want them pare lunch instead of yourself of you to fight for yourself to fight for your generation o joko si di o si o nba won ka bu pe te ni ni o se kini won na wo fi eyin temi e ku dede akoko yi koda mo tun gbe tun tun de tori eyin te ma nse pe le ra yi lori mo se ta ile se ri pe nigeria mo ba wa e sokoto de ni mo gbe leri mo ta yi eyin mo ri iru be ni ori ko de ni pada laye ko ni pada di idi iyen ni pe emi o ni de ni le laye eyin le ma de ni eyin temi mo fe fi video kan won yin ah makarona makaroni se bebe o lori oro dagaro di na ni mm mm lori dagati dagati nu bu ina ni mo fe ko jo wo video kin to man tin so le lori just watch this video and leave your own opinion on it i will be ni koja just watch this video thank you story rufai i thought you know when i saw it the first thing i thought about was do not die in politicians war no but i think we have said it from yes. the often time and anybody that decides to die in the war of politicians yeah. probably doesn't have a re real reason you know to understand perspectives that politicians will always align when their interests align and they'll do all their wives when it doesn't align it's as simple as that governor solo do and and in fact peter obi has said that governor solo is his brother right and when he was he had a chance to make a speech on what transpired between both of them he said he wants to put it behind him and governor soludo too has done the same because don't forget governor soludo wrote an article and entitled it part one obviously he's not writing a part two any longer and they've moved off that and this is the second time they're going to hug each other so i don't know why we are you know thinking that <laughs> did you think that governor soludo was going to see peter and go to oh, uh, bring but, that, I mean, roll out was a lot though no you, you, would, see, you would never expect the truth, it the truth it's, is orgy it is still their supporters yeah that go on and stoke tension they probably have moved on and talked about this and laughed over it and and that there are differences right so it's incumbent on you not to die in their war because look at the politicians they are in the higher class i like that reply. they will not be the one caught up in fuel scarcity they've got aids that build fuel for them they've got everything working for them in their lives they are not part of the nigerian poor mm -hmm. it is you that will be poor that your poverty will continue after they check out their money <laughs> but just have given you to abuse the opponent which they will drink tea and coffee with the next minute right, so wising up and ask yourself what is in it for me how can this government benefit me interrogate their ideas and their policies and let's talk about the issues in this election which is about over 133 million Nigerians that are poor all right these guys will move on they are fine look at it we shall take our final story the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu's Chatham House meeting in the United Kingdom continues to generate mixed reactions from a cross section of Nigerians, while popular skit maker Ade Bowale Ade Dayo, who goes by the stage name Mr. Macaroni in his latest skit, decided to deploy the presidential candidate's method of delegating questions to subordinates or allies while granting an interview. Let's take a look. Okay. How can you, sir? Take care of the economic situation. You said you have read my resume. Yes, I have. If you have gone through it, then there's no need for this tete a tete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know what I'm capable of. All you have to do is just give me the job and let's get things moving. I don't need this. We don't need it. I, I understand, sir. Yeah. But I want to get your idea. I've been there and I've done that. But to give you the main juice, I will tell you why they call me Daniel. Uh, Chandra! Uh, sir! Playing? How are you? I'm fine, sir. Give him solution to economy. What type of plane uh, is this? Sir, um, as you can see, I came in here very fresh and uh, uh, neat. That's a function of the economical, astronomical... Uh, so. Ten number! Ten number! Ten <laughs> number! I want to hear from you. How do you want to handle the current insecurity in this organization mm. from you 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 okay from me myself yes please let me explain something to you 
Anything you are hearing from anybody around me is from me. It's here. It's somewhere here. But they will just come and access it. They access the information and they give it to you. It's a simple thing. That's why I say it's humility for me. You don't have future here. So on no, insecurity. You can never make you can never make Meshack! Hey! Fuck! Hey. <laughs> give him solution and security. What am I saying? Sir, from our past records, you can see. Even I'm wearing the black suits, and we are ready for security. Waiting for this one like this. I want to see the name. So, so do you know that you're going to become the leader of this organization? Yes. What if this one's fail? Who is going to then take up the responsibility of the failure? Will you? I will tell you why I'm ready for this job. I bet nigga. Yes. If things go wrong, will you take responsibility? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. There you have your answer. Throw us in the lion's den. We are ready. Dr. Matthew, are ready. There you have it. For me, it was the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I mean, how did he just Straight come up with Bible. that? Really? <laughs> the people oh who are God. familiar with the Bible understand yes. that reference. But, uh, this is what is called teamship. Yes, teamship. Teamship. <laughs> well, it's a valid English word. Yes, it so is. So that's not a, the problem. But yes. the problem, uh, you know, is the parody, the satire that, uh, you know, uh, Ade, Ade Dayo, right? That's his yes. name. Adebo Ali Ade Dayo, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni, has put across. And he speaks to what we used to teach our students in the comedy and other comic forms about the aesthetics of laughter. You can see we have laughed about it mm -hmm. and all of that, but we got the message. Yes. And he's been able to put the message across in a very friendly, talented manner. Creativity, innovation, you know, that's the major highlight of that particular skit. And I'm not surprised that earlier on the program today, before you came on, Ambassador Joe Keshi drew attention to it, that he saw it, and he just delivered the message. And that's the that's whole it. thing about drama, mm -hmm. you know, how it embodies you know, the totality of messages in a very short uh, space. Yeah. I wanted to comment on the first story about the two, uh, you oh, know, Soludo and, uh, Soludo and Peter will be meeting, yes. yeah. and Obiano also being there. Okay, they first met at the uh, 70th birthday of Pastor Eze Okafo, and now they met at uh, Cardinal Rinze's uh, 90th birthday. I think, again, it overshadowed the importance of the fact that this was a celebration of the 90th birthday of a man who is a major icon mm. in the Catholic Church, you know, uh, a major source of inspiration to generations of Catholics, a man who put Nigeria on the map in Rome and has also, you know, uh, played up uh, Anambra and the Catholic Church in Nigeria, right. as Cardinal John Onayeka uh, pointed out in his homily. So we join others in congratulating uh, Francis Cardinal Arinze, 